his folks on Saturday night. Oh yeah, well, a win for Faze Martin, he, he's, he's the best time to about in the world. So, I'm not going to say the face of boxing just yet, but I feel like he is the best 135 pounder in the world. Just, he just got to show it. So, on Saturday night, hopefully he can put on a great show and show people why he is the best. So, don't know, he's kind of like, he was talking too much. Do you think he's underestimating the Oh, uh, no, nah, I don't think he underestimated him. He's talking a lot because... And he, he, like, he's arguing with his farm partners on Instagram, so he's keeping up to date with, with Frank and with everything that he's doing. So I feel like um, he's not on this man at all. He's doing his homework, and um, I feel like he's done everything to prepare for Frank Martin. His, his coach going to make sure he's ready. Kenny going to make sure he's ready. And uh, on Saturday night, Frank going to get the best tank, and Tank definitely going to get the best Frank Martin. Oh, how was it up there? I know you and Tank have history. I've been with each other in multiple fights. How was it now you promoting a fight here against him? Now y'all going at it. How was it up there? What was going through your mind? Uh, it was cool. I mean, I ain't got to take punches Saturday night. <laughs> so it was cool just being up there and, uh, you know, experience something different, experience something new. And just do it from the, from the promoter side. Of it. And, uh, you know, I'm excited about it. You know, I feel like Frank can win. You know, that would be my first. You know, we're a champion on the man down promotion, so I feel like, you know, that starts to not real big. So. Obviously, obviously, getting Frank here is big enough in itself. Did you take it personal when Tank said you only here for a check, only here for the money? Oh, no, I ain't take it personal. I mean, he, he said it by everybody in his camp, you know, so I ain't take it personal. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's something he's going to say, try to get under my skin, try to get under everybody's skin, but... You know, it's, it's definitely bigger than that. You know, we're here for a reason. Nobody's here just to get a check. We're here to get belts and everything else, too, to come with it. So, um, come Saturday night, you will see a new world champion of the world. Earl, do you feel that Tink hasn't fought nobody until Frank? I know you made that comment. Nah, he ain't fought nobody, man. I, I feel like Michelle Rivera could have beat anybody on his list. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like, you know, he hasn't fought anybody. I feel like Frank is the most talented a skilled fighter that he's, that he's gonna fight. If not, who, who who's more talented and skilled than Frank that he's fought? Is that a question or just yeah, that's a question? I mean, it's a definitely a different style, you know, professionally. Nah, but who's more talented and skilled that, that he fought? Mm, I guess some people might feel Ryan. Ryan he handicap. So see somebody else. Oh, because of the rehydration, right? Yeah. Um, I guess some people might feel Pitbull. <laughs> <laughs> people, people are a pressure fighter, man. People are a pressure fighter, so I, I wouldn't say he's skilled. I mean, he's a strong, he's a strong guy that's gonna come forward. I mean, I don't think he's more skilled than Frank at all. Yeah. Well, I ain't made nothing of it, but it's not about me right now. It's about Frank. So. We're going to keep questions about Frank Martin. How do you keep him ground? I know you've been in big events show, uh, yourself, and you got Tank up there, you know, throwing the antics, getting in his head. How are you going to keep him ground until Saturday? Uh, nah, they should pump him up. I mean, somebody, I mean, even if you're nervous to be on this big stage, when somebody talking noise to you and, you know, and saying different things about you and saying they're going to knock you out to show you, they should get you amped up and pumped up. So, you know, I think he's going to, Call on his uh, competitive spirit, and he's gonna be pumped up, ready to go come Saturday night. Hi, Errol. How are you? Hey, how you doing? Great, great to see you again. So you've been in this position many times before. What's the best advice you've been giving Frank leading up to this? I'll just stay focused. This is moment to shine. Uh, you know, what I'm saying hopefully he's put on a great show and a uh, great performance. He's looking apart, and um, his fast fights he look great too. So hopefully. He yeah, looked great this fight. He got to be 100% ready to put on a great show. He's going to come 100% prepared. And his coach, you know, get him ready for this moment again. He's been at this moment plenty of times. And I feel like Frank, this is the first time Frank is at this moment, but I feel like he's going to put on a great show and a great performance and show people why he is a new face of 135 pounds. What do you see going down Saturday night? Like, do you think it's going to go the decision or it's going to be a knockout? Um... I really don't know. Um, I think I, I think it, it could be a knockout. I think you know both ego and pride will get involved, and 
you know, somebody gonna clear somebody, then somebody gonna come back and clear somebody. I think I think it's gonna be a good fight. A lot of people think it's gonna be a boxing match, but I think in the later rounds when they both kind of wear down a little bit, we're gonna turn into an all-out fight. Did you see the sparring video that they keep talking about? <laughs> and if so, what were your thoughts on it? Nah, I didn't see it. I want to see it. <laughs> I know, so do I. I think we all want to see it. My last question Arrow. for you is, I saw that Timothy Bradley said that Frank is going to be the most athletic person that Gervonta has shared the ring with. Do you agree with that? And do you think this is going to be his hardest opponent up to date? Because you said he hasn't really fought anybody. Um, yeah, I, I agree with that 100%. I mean, this is the most athletic person he's been fought. I'm the most talented person he didn't fought. So I do believe that 100% that it is the most athletic person that he's been in the ring with. Thank you so much. Earl, Earl we saw you in Vegas a few months back, obviously for the Tim Zoo and Fandura fight. Yeah. You know, there's been some talks, uh, Jerry, Jerry's World in the fall. Can you give us an update? When can we next see you in the ring? And will it be Fandura in Dallas? Oh, I don't know. Probably October, November. October, November? Errol, can, can I ask you kind of what's going on between yourself and Derek? Has that impacted things in the camp for Frank at all? Nah. Nah, nah things going smoothly. It's all about Frank Martin. So we we don't give it to none of that. 100% about Frank Martin. You know, with, oh, with, with Ryan Garcia, you know, I know he's been in and out of steam. He mentioned that he wanted to fight you. You just think that's just Ryan just talking crazy or just... And Ryan don't call any shots, so... Do you think that uh, Tank is underestimating Frank Martin in this, in this match? Oh, nah. I, I feel like Tank, Tank is, uh, I feel like he's focused. I think he, his coach is not going to let him under, underestimate Frank. I believe they're going to keep him 100% ready and they're going to keep him prepared. And I feel like, you know, Frank going to get the best Tank. And Frank just got to be 100% ready and prepared. And I feel like it's his time to shine. You know, under the bright lights, he's going to put on a great performance. And, uh, you know, become the new guy at 135 pounds. Earl, what's is, your thoughts on um, Leonard? Yeah, obviously, he's backing Tank and they're backing, you know, promoter, promoter. But what was that experience like just kind of going at? So I'm not as cool. It was cool. Leonard, yeah. my man. So it was, it was, it was cool uh, going head up with a, with a top promoter like that. Earl, obviously, it's been about nine, ten months since the Crawford fight. Just curious, when you look back, you know, uh, what was your biggest takeaway just from, you know, the whole build-up? Obviously, that was years in the making, a fight that the sport uh, wanted for years, and a fight that the world kind of stopped for. Just biggest takeaway from uh, the whole event. I don't know, man. I'm a promoter right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know, with this fight, I know there's a rematch clause. You know, if, if Frank wins the fight, you guys going to exercise the same weight. Everything's kind of similar to, like, you know, the chair. Would you say that the fight happens immediately, or would the fight have to be on tank's terms? I mean, I don't know. I mean, anything could happen. It could be a cut. It could be anything. So, I mean... It's, it's, it's on tank to, you know, if you want a re immediate rematch or, you know, you want to prolong it. I mean, it don't matter. I mean, at the end of the day, Frank will be the champion and he'll be the, he'll be the top dog at 135 pounds. You think Tank's a little overconfident? I know he's goofing around and things on, and, on, and he didn't show up to the grand arrival yesterday. Just I mean, I mean, that's just some of the stuff he does. I mean, I guess you can do that when you're when you the man. So, I mean, he's the man right now to, you know, Frank become the man. Have you noticed what up, YouTube family? Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Help us get to that million subscribers. We're on the road to a million. And obviously, we have other great content on our Patreon channel. So since this video is over, head on over to our Patreon and check out all the exclusive content or right here on our YouTube members.